Hi, I'm Sylvia from Lonely Me Creations and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my monkey family. Um, they come in five sizes, 4x4, 5x7, 6x10, 7x12 and the 8x14. And today we're going to be making the 5x7 and I'm going to show you all the steps. So here we go. To begin with you've got to cut all your fabric and I Personally, I always print out the design pieces for each um, hooping and that gives you a guide how big to cut the pattern pieces. So get your patterns ready and I use the magnetic hoop which is easy to work with and get your stabilizer ready and I also use this um, water soluble material. Um, for the eyes because if you do that they come out much much nicer um, So let's begin put the stabilizer in the hoop and the first stitch out is going to be the outline of the ear So we're going to do that now We've stitched the outline and now we're going to place the fabric on top now, if anybody wants to write a name um, or, or embroider a name on there, what I usually do is get the fabric that you want the name embroidered on and you can redo the stitch out you've just done there so it secures it, then do the embroidery and then put the top on. But we're not going to do that today. So we're going to put the two bits of fabric facing each other right on top. Make sure it covers all the outline and then you're going to tape that and now it's going to stitch the outline again. It's now done the outline and the last um, color is going to be a line down the middle and I've done that so it's easy for you to know where to cut to divide the two ears in half. Okay, now we're going to remove it, remove the hoop from the machine and just pull this. It's a bit brutal on me. And what you can do is remove the stabilizer at the back and we're going to cut in, divide it in half and then just cut nicely around here making sure you cut the little corners here okay next hooping is for the arms and the legs and the machine is just going to stitch an outline so you'll be able to position your fabric on it the machine stitched out the outline so you know exactly where the arms and the legs are going to go so we're going to put this fabric a double layer right sides facing each other and you can take that I'm going to use my little magnets they come in very handy and it's going to now stitch the outline the machine's finished stitching out the outline for the arms and the legs, so just remove it from your hoop, take off the stabilizer at the back, and I want you to cut nicely around the outline and make sure you cut right in all the little creases here, and turn them inside out and then put them aside. So this is the third hooping, and we're now going to stitch out the tail and the other arm and first the machine is going to stitch the outline again see the machine has stitched out the outline and now you're going to put the fabric for this particular um, hooping and make sure it's right within the line and right sides facing each other. I've taped the corners down and we're now ready to stitch out the last color which is going to outline the tail. 
tail of yarn. Stitch the outline and we're going to remove it from the hoop and we're going to trim right around neatly. Make sure you put little notches here, trim it in between and then turn it inside out and put aside for the next hooping. This is the fourth and final hooping and this is going to, the first color is going to stitch out the outline so we know where to place the fabric. The machine has stitched the outline and now we're going to line the fabric right side facing up and make sure it covers all the outline and we're going to tape it down. We've taped the fabric down and we're now ready to stitch out the next color which is going to secure the fabric to the stabilizer. The machine has now stitched the outline and the next um, stitch out is going to be a line here where the muzzle is going to go. As you can see it's stitched this outline here and what we're going to do is we're going to put the piece of fabric for the muzzle and I cut it about five inches by four and we're going to place it right about like that, about halfway along where his little cheeks stick out. Make sure it's even on both sides, you need a tiny bit higher. And then it's going to stitch out the next color which is going to secure it. stitch that line and now I'm going to cut just hang on it's a bit tricky doing it like that just leave a little bit of space about like that about a quarter of an inch so now what we do is we bring this fabric down and make sure the right side is on top that you haven't sewn it upside down we're going to bring this down and the machine is going to stitch around here but we're also going to fill it with a bit of this okay a bit of filling i don't know what you call it so here we go So stop it halfway through and then just put some of this in. Don't put too much in. And this will give a 3D effect on his muzzle. I'm just going to trim right around here. You don't have to worry about these bits because um, they're going to get trimmed at the end. So just around here because we're going to applique around here. So we've now trimmed around here and like I said this bit doesn't matter. And I'm going to put some water soluble stabilizer on here now. Tape it down so it doesn't all get creased up while you're sewing. I'm just using these magnets, so anybody that's got a magnetic hoop is going to do well. We've got our water soluble in place and now we're going to stitch out the white of the eyes. So this color you definitely have to have white. It's done the 
white of the eyes and the next color is going to be the color of the eyes so whatever color you want to blue brown or green or whatever that's the color thread you've got to use i'm going to give them blue eyes it stitched out the blue of the eyes and now it's going to do the pupils and around the eyes and the mouth and the nostrils in the eyebrows and now it's doing its nostrils as you can see he's starting to look quite cheeky and we are now going to put the um, twinkle in his eye, so we have to use white again. We're now going to give him um, some rosy cheeks because he's a little bit embarrassed how cheeky he is. So, that color is going to We're now going to attach the ears, so make sure you have all your bits and pieces ready, and we'll put the ears on now. Color 11 is going to stitch out the placement for the ear. Position the ear and the fabric side or the side you want on the front has to face down. We're going to align the ear right where this little straight bit stops, right here. And the same with that. Uh, this is perfectly alright to hold with your hands. Same for the other side. So this is the second um, placement line for, or the placement line for the other ear. I've taped the ear down so it doesn't get in the way, and we're going to align it again right where these straight bits stop. Okay, here we go. So that's the ears done now. And next the machine is going to show the placement for the applique. So it's done the outline stitch where you're going to place your fabric for the applique. What you're going to do is just tape it down so it doesn't pucker. I've taped it down and we're just going to stitch out color 16 which is going to go around giving us the stitch line so we can put around it. going to trim closely around the stitch line because after this we're going to do the decorative stitch. All right I've put some water soluble stabilizer on it to prevent um, the stitches going into the pile here. It'll, I always think it stitches out nicer and I've chosen a blue color to complement the blue in the fabric. And this is now going to stitch out the Right, the 
machine is stitched out, the decorative stitch all around the applique. And if you wanted to put a name here, now is the time to do it. But now we are going to attach the arms and the legs. So this is card 18 and it's going to stitch the placement line for the arm. So you get the arm ready, make sure the thumb is up and you just place the arm there, tape it down and stitch the next color. Next we're going to do the placement line for the leg. So we put the leg, make sure the thumb bit is facing inside. And we're going to place this like that. tape it down and stitch it out and on to the next stitch out placement line for the next the last leg the second leg That's it. and again have the thumb in place it neatly down, tape it down and stitch it out. And now finally the right arm, um, that's the placement line. place and taped it down and now we're ready to stitch it down. I'm going to show you how to get this ready now to sew the top on. We fold the ears so they're not within the stitching line. and then tape them down. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same with the, the legs. What I do is I put a piece of tape there, fold the legs like that, make a little parcel of them. Now you can see they're not within the stitching line. We're going to do the same with the arms. So they're all neatly tucked in. And for security purposes, you can just, as you can see, the line is here. And you don't want it to go over that. It doesn't matter if the machine stitches over the tape because it's easily removed. Okay, it's all neatly tucked in. You can see the line. It's not touching anything. Now we're going to tuck them in. And... What you do is cover them completely, making sure everything is still all right. And you can use pins. I normally would use the magnets, but I know not everybody's got a magnetic hoop. 
the opening is going to be from the top and I've done that so you can turn it inside out easy so just tuck him in nice and snug because he's going to be born in a minute we're going to give birth to a monkey we want it to be as painless as possible. The other reason I taped all that down so it's nice and flat so it's not too bulky for your machine. Just put one more there. Look at the back. Here's my pins. Here's a stitching line, so he can't go over any pins. And now I'm gonna put the hoop over. I'll just put one more, I'll just put that here. Now we're gonna stitch out the last color. It's not the last color on your thing, but this is the, it's gonna go all the way around the monkey. I'm using the foot pedal for this. If you've got a foot pedal on your machine, and that's the pedal that you use for normal sewing, you should be able to use it for embroidery too, and it makes it more manageable really. But this should be alright. one more color but we're not going to stitch that out because some of you have a machine that it automatically at the end of a design goes to the center so don't stitch out color number 27. I'm just now going to remove this from the hoop and cut around it. I have removed the pattern the design from the hoop and I've cut all the way around removed all the stabilizer and the one thing I forgot to tell you is before you remove it from the hoop, what I usually do is you take the pins out and then you check in between to see if anything is stuck there. And then if, if it is, you can still alter it while it's in the hoop because you can just undo it, shove the stuff back in and then redo the last, the outline, not the last stitching because that's the one you don't do. Okay, so you've done that. And now we're going to turn them inside out. To get something. This should be quite easy. It looks a bit difficult, but it isn't really. Come on, Monty, out you come. And here he is, the birth of Monty. No, no, don't do that. Just leave the tape off. And here he is, all done. Now 
I don't know whether you can see it, but there is a stitching line up here. I think you just about see it. When you've stuffed it, what you do is you slip stitch it and use follow that line and then you get a nice round head. So we're going to stuff them now and I shall show you this in a second. Right, you've stuffed the monkey and now you see the opening here and what you're going to do is this line here, you sort of crease it so you can see it. I've put the needle here and you're going to slip stitch, just take a bit from one side and then pick it up here following the line. And then at the back again, pick up. You just do little stitches so it's nice and secure. And then the front again. So we've sewn the top of the head and as you can see it's nice and round. And now all there is left to do is sew on the tail. And what you do is I've just put a little bit of the fabric inside so you don't see any raw edges. And we're going to just position it here and slip stitch it on. Here is our monkey all finished. Um, we've put his tail on. And you can also sew Velcro bits on his hands and arms or or even his tail and you can make him swing and do all sorts of things with him. And now he's going to join his family. He's going to sit with his mama. Here he is. So it's one big happy monkey family. And the cat who wants to always be part of it. Come on, you, you're obstructing the view, darling. <laughs> Um, I hope you liked my video and I hope it was of help to you and when you've sewn your monkeys out I would love to see them on my Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.